A rational equation contains at least one rational expression where the variable appears in at least one of the denominators. If we're given a rational equation, we're going to solve it. 1. We first factor all denominators in the equation if they need to be factored. Number 2. We find and exclude values that, each, that set each denominator equal to 0. Number 3. We find the LCD. Number four, we multiply the whole equation by the LCD. If the LCD is correct, then there will be no denominators left. Number five, you solve the remaining equation. Number six, you make sure to check solutions back in the original equations to avoid a solution producing zero and a denominator. So for this example, we have two over x minus three over two, which is equal to seven over two x. First thing you wanna do is are the denominators factored? Yes, there's nothing that we need to do to factor any of the denominators. Number one, we need to find the restrictions. So all denominators that contain x, we're going to set them equal to zero and solve for x. We have x equals zero in the first denominator. Thir third denominator is two x equals zero, which ends up giving us x equals zero. So we can see that zero is an exclusion or a restriction. Number two, how many terms do we have in the equation. We have one, two, three terms. Then we need to determine what is the LCD of all three terms. Well, we can see that they have a two in common, so we know that two is part of the LCD. And we can see that two of them have an x in common, so x has to be included in the LCD. So the LCD is two x. Number four, we're going to multiply each term by the LCD. So the original equation has two x minus 3 over 2, which is equal to 7 over 2x. And since they're all fractions, we write the LCD as 2x divided by 1. So we're going to multiply the LCD by each term. And then we're going to simplify what we can simplify with the denominator. Now x goes into x one time. So we have 2 times 2. We can see that 2 goes into 2 one time. So we get minus 3 times x equals, we have 2x goes into 2x one time, so that's 7 times 1. So we can see here that we're going to multiply these together, and 7 times 1. 2 times 2 gives you 4, minus 3 times x, which is 3x, equals 7 times 1, which is 7. So now what we can do is we can solve this equation. So we're going to isolate x. So we're going to subtract 4 to both sides. 7 minus 4 gives you 3. And then we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. So we get x, which is equal to 3, divided by negative 3, which is equal to negative 1. So the solution set is negative 1, and the excluded value is 0. And this is a conditional statement because we have one unique solution that we can substitute back into the problem. Now, if we wanted to check by setting x to be negative 1. So we have 2 over negative 1 minus 3 over 2, which is equal to 7 over 2 times negative 1. So what this does is we want to find a common denominator. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. So we have two, negative 2 over 1 minus 3 over 2 which is equal to negative 7 over 2. So on the left side, I want to find a common denominator, which is going to be 2. I'm going to keep the right side the same. So what do we need to multiply by 1 to get 2? We're going to multiply that by 2. So 2 times 2 is going to give us 4. 2 times 1 is going to give you 2, 1, so 3 times 1 is going to give you 3. 2 times 1 is going to give you 2, and 7 times 1 is going to give you 7. Now when we combine like terms, we get negative 7 on a, over 2 on the left side, negative 7 over 2 on the right side, which tells us that it checks.